Today is May 11th, 2019, about 7.13 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm getting ready to hook up the polyethylene pipe to the airlift pump. So I'm going to use my propane torch to heat it up a little. Tighten those the rest of the way once I get this is where the air connection will come in. This will go on the other end to about hook up your dual air compressors. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. Still got like physical therapy on my left arm. There we go. I'm gonna turn my torch off now. Ooh. Yeah, I couldn't push that on, but heating up the pipe will help it to cure around the the barbs a little bit better. I'm putting dual clamps on there to make sure that the amount of strain and weight and gravity pull will not make the connection slip off the barb slip fittings. So, and heating up that pipe and getting it to cool down around the barbs. Will make it hold on a lot stronger. This is a made of metal fitting, so it'll go on easier. So, before you stop that, just hit the pause button and we'll go to the other end and put this on. Hold on, hit the pause button. <laughs> right here, when you get a kink in your pipeline. Just go ahead and put a coupling and heat it about six to about six to four inches away from the end and it should slip on on both sides so we don't want the sediment to get trapped in that kink so right here I'm showing the the ends of a 400 foot hose 
and a 500 foot hose and kind of give you an idea this is a little over a quarter mile track so we were just down there on the other end putting that airlift on the other end of the hose so that's what it looks like to drop over 380 feet for the airlift pump and have a extra 120 feet of drain hose to redirect it and then a hundred feet less for the air hose connection to keep it close. So right here I finalized in the air lift pump by adding in the, the air compressor connection bar. Just like that. It's left on really good and solid. Well, even though this one's not gonna hold any real weight. I'm gonna go ahead and put two clamps on there just to make it look nice with the whole setup. That's for that part. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. Okay, now that I got the steel clamps hooked up and the hose is hooked up on each end, I'm going to take all of this speed of hose and I'm going to try to duct tape it together. And that should give me a, a solid, complete line. as it goes down as one together. I'm just probably right at the beginning, that's only where I want to put a few short areas and see how it forms it more as a one solid line. And this is the gorilla style duct tape. And basically, I just wanted as one, one solid line that's going down. As far as storing it, I'll figure a way how to store over 500 feet of tubing. It's a heavy enough as it is. It's not as light as you think. This is still pretty heavy and I imagine it's going to have a lot of weight force hanging over 300 feet. about it. 